Spit can heal you, it can help your babies, it can get you a girlfriend. Basically, spit is the tits. Hey salivators, Trace here. Thanks for watching D News. Saliva is manufactured in the salivary glands of the mouth. Human saliva is 99.5% water and 0.5% a bunch of other stuff. Electrolytes, mucus, antibacterial compounds, and various enzymes. Funnily enough, that 0.5 imbues a little bit of cool into this otherwise overlooked liquid. You produce almost one to two liters of saliva every single day, and spitting, though gross and sometimes a crime, can be useful in a bunch of situations. I'm just spitballing here, but spit is pretty baller. For example, back in the 1940s, researchers at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry explored the ability of human saliva to fight bacteria. Think about it. Animals, they licked their wounds all the time. The researchers tested human saliva and found it inhibited the growth of 110 out of 169 different bacterial strains. It did so because of lysosomes, antibacterial agents fighting to kill bad bacteria. But in saying that, not all bacteria are bad, and that 0.5% also includes proteins and glycoproteins which feed good bacteria and fight the bad bacteria too, as well as calcium and phosphate ions which help repair tooth enamel. And we're still not done though. If you prick your finger, your instinct might be to put it in your mouth. A study from 2008 found histatin, a protein in saliva, accelerates healing and a chemical called opiorphin is a natural painkiller. It's stronger than morphine, guys. Researchers think that this histatin is the reason mouth wounds heal so much faster than injuries elsewhere on the body. It also explains why animals lick their wounds. They're instinctively knowing it will help them feel better while adding to cleaning and healing. But look, spit isn't just an ancient healing and cleaning method. Engineers at Penn State found a way to turn our spittle into energy. Just spit on this fuel cell and the bacteria on there will go to town, breaking down the glucose energy and converting it to a charge, which is transferred into the system through graphene. Boom. Spit plus bacteria equals one microwatt of energy, enough to power a small sensor, which could be useful in medical application. So what else can you do with spit? What else can you do? Oh, oh, kissing. According to research from Rutgers University, French kissing, or the act of sticking your tongue in someone else's mouth, releases dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin in both parties forming bonds and increasing sexual feelings. But according to a study in evolutionary psychology, male saliva also contains testosterone. Thus, they believe kissing evolved in part because of slobber. A Gallup poll found that men are more likely to initiate the French kiss. And these researchers believe this was an evolutionary way for males to transfer that testosterone to females, slowly over time, increasing their mate's sex drive and building a bond between them. Hot. After they've made a bond and maybe, let's say, decided to pop out a baby, that spit is still important. Research from Cornell University says pre-chewing food and feeding it to your baby will transfer immune cells, building the baby's immune system. It sounds kind of gross, but it's kind of actually common in the animal kingdom and in some non-Western cultures where baby blenders aren't as common. This is just some of the cool stuff that spit can do. And I'm not saying go out there and just start spitting on everything, cause ew. But you should get down with the drool. Does this change your opinion at all on saliva? Tell us below in the comments, subscribe for more videos every day, and check out this guy over here maybe for some more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.